My name is Abid Dawin and I am a professional video editor, a software instructor and a content creator. Today let's make a subscribe button that looks just like this for free in DaVinci Resolve 17 without going into the Fusion page but just here in the edit page. Are you ready? Let's jump in. Alright, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 and you see, as you see here, I have already imported in some footage. Now you can go on and import in any footage that you really have. And what I want to do is um, I'm going to import. Now I downloaded, I downloaded um, a subscribe already animated button. So just get that from, uh, from Google. I'll put the link below in the description below so check that out but it's really not hard i'm just gonna grab it and import it in here all right he's here i'm gonna open him and this is the thing here let me, let me just try to preview it uh, you're gonna go to the edit page please make sure you are in the edit page and we start you have already named your project whichever name that you have really given it and so I just want to give this a play and you see what I am having over here um, I'm playing this I just want to play so that's it but it's it has this green screen and so how can we remove that green screen well it's easy so what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna drop him into my timeline here could be I want him to be to start off from here so you see when I play uh, the green screen is covering all the screen and I can't have any other thing showing apart from that so what I want to do I'm gonna close the media pool and um, I want to go to effects I want to bring an effect called 3D Kia. Now go to Open Effects, Effects, Open Effects, and go to uh, 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 an effect called 3D Kia. What you're gonna do is just gonna drag and and just drop it on the layer that you wanna have it effective. What you wanna do is come here and change from. Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. I'm gonna have a single view. We have a single view. You can switch them over from here. That's really simple. What you wanna do is go to this button here and change this to be open FX overlay. Alright, you have done that. And what you wanna do is make sure your clip is selected and go to the inspector and go to effects. You see now how effects is highlighted here. Okay. And go to this button here, uh, we, we say 3D care, make sure it's turned on. And go to this plus, plus uh, feature here. And just drag and drop through the screen like that. Okay, magical. <laughs> Things have happened. And so it is gone. Now you can come here. Uh, key, well, among key options and, and make sure you turn off show path. So, so that path can't really show. Now, y you can really be confused if you, that thing is really there and you're like, <laughs> how can I really take this off? So just don't, be, don't panic, it's easy. Just turn off the show paths. Now we're gonna, we're gonna zoom, we're gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see our screen clearly. Now when I zoom in, what I see is, I am seeing some green around this. I am gonna turn on the display. And so with the display turned on, you see the effect. It's kind of like some green on my footage. And so when I turn it on, there's some difference. I don't know whether you get the point. There's some difference and so it becomes even clearer. And you can also in go on and increase the smoothness or bring it down. It's just upon you. When we take it to a black screen, you can clearly see what I am meaning. So the smoothness kind of kind of makes it even more better you see it's just better now when the display is off is on and it's off it's on and it's off easy easy peasy mm -hmm. so that's done now let's assume you have some other stuff going over you can go to this minus and you 
you reduce or you deduct what you don't really want and so yeah let's give let's give it a play see how this looks uh, this footage doesn't have an audio so just be comfortable with it mm -hmm. turn on notifications and so you can just be you know talking and then this thing comes over long and it's really much more hopeful so this video was hopeful to you isn't it what i want to do is um go to deliver so when you're done you can just go to deliver and you're gonna get something like this which is already but you know you, you have already uh green screened it so it's not gonna show up as a green screen it will just show up as as a single as a single uh, subscribe button over here so you can go on and set up your settings in here uh, select the location and you can render it out so that was helpful please if this video helped you please give it a thumbs up what does it really cost you give it a thumbs up and share it with friends someone out there may might be needing something like this could be as a bonus um, you can also go on and increase the volume of could be you you want to increase the volume of um, of this of this uh, audio you can just go on it's around here and you can just press shift and roll your middle mouse button and by doing so you'll be having uh, kind of like a more zoomed zoomed in uh, zoomed in view of your of your audio so you can give it a play you see you, you can increase this you can increase the size the, the size of this to to kind of fit which is within your project i don't know what your project tree really is but whichever thing it is okay just as simple as that and then it goes away so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more other great content like this and i love you bye bye